just get the run around. Wham, bam, Kapow, who's gonna help us now? Call the fans, the people cry, these bad guys got no alibi. Is there a crime buster in the house? Call for Elliot Mouse. No baloney, this guy's no phony, honest to the bone. Step on the gas map, trap that bad guy. Well, hello there, Tom. No one walks these streets at night. The sirens wail and bullets fly. We need a little justice now. Call for Elliot Mouse. We live in fear of cheese racketeers. In the sky. But we've got tough guys on our side. So kiss your kids goodbye. Incredible. Incredible. Unbribable. Unbribable. The untouchable. The untouchable. Despite its impressive image, Cheesecago was no longer the prosperous city it had once been. The hard-working citizens of Cheesecago were continually menaced by a powerful gangster. His name? Al Catone. By using his gang of thugs and racketeers to carry out blackmail and extortion, Catone had cornered the cheese market and fixed prices to make himself a fortune. Money cheated from the citizens of Cheesecago was used to bribe the highest officials in the city, including many police officers. With all the city's bigwigs and nearly the entire police force under his control, Al Catone was virtually immune from prosecution. He took great care of his public image and gave large donations to many city charities, making himself a highly popular citizen. But he hadn't counted on the four brave federal agents who would do anything they could to bring him down. That's right, my friends. Agents of the federal mouse hole of investigation, Elliot Mouse and his untouchables. Perfect. I'd sure like to see Catone in that outfit, wouldn't you, Wilson? Yeah, right. Not bad, Elliot. Well, it's all just a matter of patience. We'll put our plan into action, and it shouldn't be long before we see Catone behind bars. I can't wait to see that. Well, as we seem to be on the subject of waiting... I'll have another of these cheese cocktails. They're delicious. Why don't you guys wise up? If you guys think you're going to be able to lock up Al Catone all by yourselves, then I guess you don't really know Cheese Cargo. You might be right, but we're not alone. Yeah? How do you figure that out? According to the latest surveys, 95% of the inhabitants of Cheese Cargo support our intervention. But it's still not going to be easy to get Al Catone dressed like this. Your survey can say what it likes, but Al Catone is a very powerful cat. And there ain't many people in the city who'll want to go up against him. It's hard finding anyone in the city to depend on. Well, we found you, didn't we? Or was that just a stroke of good luck? Not so fast. Hold on a minute. I like you guys. I think you're okay. But in this town, everyone's got to look after themselves. And I can't afford to have my business ruined by getting mixed up with Al Catone. I'm sure you'll understand, Agent Mouse. You can't be serious, Miss Deborah. Oh, get real. What can I do while Catone is running the city? Okay, then. Cheese contraband is Catone's main source of income. All we gotta do is keep on hitting him hard, raiding his warehouses, and make sure he can't get his hands on any cheese. That way, he'll soon lose his grip on this city. So it'll get harder and harder for Catone to keep paying off the politicians and the police, and that'll make our job a whole lot easier. And the more success we have, the more people will lose their fear of Al Catone and actually stand up to the guy. If it's such a great plan, Hotshot, what are you still doing sitting around here? That's easy. We're putting it into practice. What, by sitting around? You see, Pierre told us that your cheese reserves were getting on the low side. Which we could not let happen, as it would be a disgrace. So we did the logical thing and put an order through to Mr. Catone. And we're waiting here for Jack to tell us when the shipment is on its way, you see? Once they've made the delivery, we follow them, then we find out the whereabouts of their secret warehouse. Come on, hurry up! Pierre's trying to slow him up! Come on! Please excuse us, Miss Deborah, but duty calls. Oh, that's okay. Good luck, fellas. That's 400. You need one more. 
Here we are, 500. Okay, Pierre, we gotta be going now. Yeah. Thanks for the chip, it's been a pleasure, Monsieur. Ah. Give us a call when you get low on cheese again. It's always a pleasure to take care of regular customers. Great, now we can get after them and see where they keep all that cheese. Right, these guys are ours. Well, they emptied the truck at the Cheese Marie Club, so there's only one place they can go now, and that's back to the warehouse. Hey, what's going on? They, they disappeared. disappeared! They must be around here somewhere. There's no other way out. Let's get a bit closer. Hey! If they're anywhere around here, all we gotta do is follow my nose. Be careful out there. Follow your nose? But there are more than 20 warehouses. Are you sure you can smell them all? Just watch me. Right! This is it right here. There's gotta be tons of the stuff in there. This smell is really strong. Right. Federal agents! Open up in the name of the law! Open up! We know you're in there! Uh, uh, the feds! Well, what do we do? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. We're safe in here. The boss made sure this place was real secure. Since our friends don't seem to be too keen to invite us in, then I guess we'll just have to use our own key. Break it down, Gordon. It'll be a pleasure. <laughs> you can't imagine how anxious I am to inspect the quality of the cheese these guys may have in there. Oh no! I just can't imagine that at all. <laughs> Let's see what's behind here. Some kind of security door. Look at that. We shut the door right in their faces. Ha ha ha. There ain't no Fed gonna be able to get through there. No way, no how. Yeah, but we can't get out either. Cheese and crackers, I forgot. This ain't playing fair. You're wasting your time, Gordon. You'll never be able to break through that. Calculating the resonance of recent blows, that security door must be at least four inches thick. There's just got to be a way to get in there. Huh? I think I may have the solution, gentlemen. Stand well clear. Huh? Hey, huh? That's fantastic. <sighs> Only if it works. Right, this is it. Okay, get him up. Agent Mouse, FMI. All right, now all this cheese is confiscated in the name of the law. Uh, now don't you creeps move a muscle. Go on, go ahead and get their weapons, Wilson. It all go according to plan? It sure did, Jack. The whole operation was a resounding success. Great, Jack. With that car of yours, there ain't a warehouse in the city can stand up to us. Alcatone's got a fight on his hands. Come on, guys. Just one last effort, huh? Right, you are then, Mooney. Ah, uh, okay, that's it. Okay, Wilson, what's this haul come to? Hmm. Five tons by my calculation. That's a lot of cheese. Yes, it is, but it's impossible to give you an exact figure if Gordon will insist on pilfering cheese from every single crate. Uh, Gordon! Gordon! Huh? Oh, hi, guys. I was just making sure the cheese hadn't gone bad and we hadn't damaged it during the shipment, right, Junior? Ah, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Catone can't report the truck missing unless he admits to being mixed up with cheese. Which he is up to his neck. Yes, but busting this place isn't going to make a great deal of difference if we don't find the rest of the warehouses. Yes, but there is a way around that. When we deliver this cheese to the shopkeepers of Cheese Cargo, we must get them to tell us all they know about Catone's delivery system. And remind them that we need their help to put Catone away. Have you got that, guys? Yes, yes sir. We got it, Agent Matt. Law and order return to Cheese Cargo. Untouchable strike again. Cheese prices plunge. This Elliot Louse is starting to annoy me. Can't you guys get rid of a few little federal agents? You see, it's not 
that easy. Yeah, they keep attacking us with this car full of secret weapons. Yeah, and the fat guy's really got a nose for the job. Wherever we hide the cheese, he can smell it from miles away. Excuses, that's all I hear from you guys. Take my train, Nitty. I can't believe those unflushables can beat us on their own. I don't think they are alone, Senior Catone. And sell me, get me my favorite soup. Okay. What do you mean by saying you don't think they're alone? Now somebody has to be squealing about our warehouses. Well, who are these blabbermouths? I'll turn them into cottage cheese! We don't know, boss! Everyone's terrified, so they help the feds anonymously, cause they don't wanna face up to us! Yeah, boss. Gimme that! Uh-oh. Hey, what is this? What's going on? <laughs> Get away from me! Oh, it's just a moth! So everyone's afraid of us, huh? But even a little moth will have a go at my suit! Well, don't just stand there, muffball brains! Get rid of it! Don't you worry, boss. We'll get rid of that little sucker. <laughs> Stop it! You're destroying my nice room, you chowder head! <laughs> Senior, you mentioned mothballs. Well, that's the answer to your problem. I hate the smell yeah. of mothballs as much as cheese, Nitty. I can't stand any strong smell. Oh, now I come to think of it. Of course, why didn't I think of that before? And if I can get the press to show up at the right moment... I don't get it. Of course you don't, dummy. That's why I'm the boss. You two leave that muff alone and go out and get me a couple of tons of mothballs. Then we'll get on to the press. <laughs> you mind now, Elliot Muff. <laughs> What a haul! You said it, Gordon. In fact, I think this is the biggest stockpile of cheese that we've come across since we came to Cheese Cargo. You're right, Elliot. Judging by the amount of trucks that went in there and the payload that seemed to be exerted on their tires, I'd estimate there must huh? be over 60 tons of cheese in that warehouse. 60 tons of cheese? Calm down, Gordon. We better wait till Jack gets back from inspecting the place. Oh, come on, Jack. Where are you? I know how you feel, Gordon, but cool it, okay? We move in too quickly, we could lose the whole shipment. We don't know if these guys have another way out. Huh? huh? Hey! This is the place, guys. Right? Hurry! There they are, over there! Mr. Over Mouth. here, you press Mr. Smile! Please, have you got a few words for the press, Elliot? You got any idea how big this consignment might be? Just hold on a minute. How did you guys know we were here? I can answer that, Mr. Mouse. We received an anonymous phone call at the news bureau where we all work, telling us that there was going to be a big raid at a crooked warehouse tonight and that you guys were going to be in on it. Well, I don't know who told you, but we ain't even started the raid yet, so you guys better stay back out of the way. This place is liable to get pretty hot in a moment. Tell us, Mr. Mouse. Is it true your tip-off came by virtue of an anonymous phone call? So why do you think of folks' cooperation? I'd like to go on record as saying that we greatly appreciate the support given to us by the citizens of Cheese Cargo, but it wouldn't be doing anyone any favors if we didn't act discreetly. What are these cheeseball lowlifes doing here? You can hear the rockers all the way on the other side of the street. How about letting us in on the raid? The people of Cheese Cargo are anxious for details of your many accomplishments. Hey, this could actually be beneficial to us, Elliot. After all, you always said the more publicity our operations get, the easier it'll be for people to lose their fear of Alcatone and help us carry out our work. Okay, I guess you guys can string along, but keep your distance. Like I said, it could be dangerous. Hey, thanks. We won't get in the way. What did you manage to find out, Jack? I checked it all. There's only one way out of that rat hole. We already lost enough time with those guys, so let's move. Hey, come on. We got a story to chase. Something smells fishy about this, Elliot. Yeah, all those journalists turning up is pretty strange. Yeah, but I wasn't talking about that. I meant that I suddenly stopped being able to smell any cheese. <laughs> Right, get your hands up. This is a federal raid. Everybody step out into the open. Keep your hands where we can see them and don't try anything. Hey, what's going on here, Mouse? Well, well, look who we've got here. It's our old friend Scalisi. What's with you busting in here like this, Mouse? Can't we work in peace like ordinary folk? Oh, quit the clowning around, Cheese Rind. You know very well why we're here. You can't come in here with your federal flunky, see? This is a legitimate business. Oh, yeah? Well, we'll see about that. 
Draw back those tarpaulins. We want to check the contents of every one of these trucks. Now let's go. What the? I don't believe it. What? Oh! Hey, but. What does it mean? It means there's no cheese here, Mr. Clever Dick. This place is used for washing down trucks, and as far as I know, that ain't illegal. Yeah, but I haven't searched the whole warehouse yet. Just because there was no cheese in these trucks. Right, guys, let's search the whole place. Keep an eye on these cheese balls. Gordon, that shipment of cheese has to be around here somewhere. Ah, hey, you're just wasting your time, Weevil Brain. Yeah, well, we'll see about that, won't we? The trailers are empty, Elliot. No sign of cheese anywhere. He's right, and there isn't a trace of cheese in the whole building. It's like I was trying to say, Elliot. My nose never lets me down, but I can't smell even a crumb of cheese. Well, I hope, Mr. Mouse, you'll clean the mess up you made here before leaving. Who knows, if you're a dab hand with that scrubbing brush, I may even give you a job. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't heard the last of this. Over here. Huh? Uh -huh. Friends and neighbors, it's terrible news. I read it in the papers, the city's got the blues. She's got Bad times back for good. She's got I have a misunderstood. I have the whole life. In these catastrophic times I ain't been so low since I was hungry and cold And down to my very last time The world's gone C-I-S-A-Y The whole wide world's gone crazy What do we do, Elliot? After that stunt Katone pulled at the warehouse, we've lost the trust of the citizens of Cheese Cargo. No one believes us anymore. Well, you can't really blame them, but don't worry, Wilson. Once we made a big strike, they'll be back on our side again. Yeah, but we keep getting false leads, so how are we going to trust anyone? I don't know. Hey, I'll think of something. We haven't had an unsolved case yet, have we? But they're getting harder to handle. Even when we find the warehouses ourselves, they turn out to be empty. Even Gordon's fine sense of huh? smell hasn't been able to find the slightest whiff of cheese. It just means they're using some kind of trick. We'll soon find out what it is. Hey, maybe this is good news. What do you say, Gordon? We got him this time, guys. Look. And what's this exactly? It's a cheese, can't you see? Well, I did taste a bit to see if it was okay, but it was big when we picked it up down at the docks, Elliot. So, at last, we got him! We sure do. Jack and I witnessed an entire shipment of cheese being unloaded from Canada, and we managed to snatch this sample before they loaded it into the trucks. Great. Did you follow them? Sure did. They took it all to a warehouse not far from here. Jack stayed behind to keep an eye on the place while I came to tell you guys. And this time there really is a lot of cheese, Elliot. Okay, if you say so. Well then. What are we waiting for, you guys? Let's bring home the cheese. There you are. I was starting to worry in case they left. How's it going? Any movement? Not that I can see. No one's come out, so the cheese must still be in there. And this time, there can't be any trick to it. You both saw the sample Gordon brought. What? Oh, yeah, Jack. Well, more or less, I guess. Well, that's something anyway. I must admit I was a bit worried that the whole sample might have disappeared into Gordon's mouth while it was on its way over to you. Me make a piece of evidence disappear? I would never do such a thing, and I resent your... <laughs> So I tried a little bit, but... Watch out! Someone's coming! Yeah. It's Rat Nitty! Come on! Not even closing the door. All right, fellas, here's where we get them, but good. We won't make any mistakes this time. We'll catch them cheese-handed. Is that nose of yours still picking up the scent of cheese? Well, it don't smell too strong, but you can tell there's cheese around this warehouse somewhere. Okay, then. That's good enough for me. Let's move it. No use, guys. Are you sure you're taking care of the last shipment? Yeah, that's right. We took care of it. We're finished here. Okay, let's blow this coop. Not so <gasps> fast, Nitty. Hold it right there. Get your hands up, all of you. We're federal agents. Don't try it, Nitty. I got you covered. Well, if it ain't Elliot Louse and his untouchables. Now, what can I do for you boys? Get the cheese out of your ears, Ratface. When my colleague here told everyone to stick up their hands, he meant it to apply to you, too. Why should I? This is my official place of business, and I don't have to put up with any more police harassment. 
Well, if you're innocent, you won't mind us looking around. Now sniff out that cheese, Gordon. Okay. Well, I can smell it sure enough, and it's close by, too. <laughs> Just follow the scent until you find uh -huh. the cheese. <laughs> Seems like Lady Luck's about to run out on you, Nitty. Excuse me a minute, huh? Harriet. But a strong smell of cheese seems to be coming from your pocket. It is? That's impossible. Uh-oh. It's that sample you brought to the Cheese Paris Club. <laughs> so, you were the cheese bootlegger all along, Mouse? Well, I might have guessed it. They'll go easy on you if you just turn yourself in. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Nitty. I get it this yeah. time. <laughs> Huh? Huh? Aha! Uh oh. You sure are a funny guy, Nitty. Well, that is very strange. These appear to be mothballs, but what would mothballs be doing beneath a warehouse floor? Huh? Why, yeah, of course. So that's what you were up to, Nitty. Okay, guys, I want you to help me pull up this floor. Mothballs were the key to it all, you see. Ah. Ah. They use the mothballs in order to neutralize a strong smell of the cheese. Yeah. And that's the reason why Gordon couldn't even get a sniff of it. By my calculations, there must be more than ten tons of cheese in here, Elliot. That's excellent. We've got them at last. Look at them getting away. Don't worry. Those guys are due for a nice little holiday in Cancatraz, and I aim to see that they get there. Go get them, Belle! Right, guys, let's search the other warehouses. We got some floorboards to raise. As long as the rest of their organization isn't aware we know about the mothballs, we're still in business. We can bust them all! I'm here, Senor Caton, sir. What do you mean, I'm here, Senor? What's happened to Nitty and Anselmi? Where are they? Well, they both got a month in prison. A month? But I thought we bought that church! We did, boss. That judge is ours, sure enough. But this time, there was so much overwhelming evidence, he said it would be better to give them a light sentence. Otherwise, people might have started getting suspicious. All right, I heard enough. What about you, Peanut Brain? Why are you standing there holding that thing? It's something for you, boss. They gave it to me at reception. All right, all right. I don't want to hear any more about it. Just open it, will ya? Maybe it's a gift from the judge to apologize for what happened. Oh, dear. Well, oh, come on. What's in the box? I'm talking to you. There appears to be a suit and a short note. Well, read it for me, will you? I have to do everything? Sure thing, boss. You won't be needing mock balls for this suit, Mr. Catron, because you'll soon be wearing it in poison. Kindness regards Elliot Mouse. What kind of suit is it? Come on, show me. I want to see. What? A convict suit? <laughs> so you think you're funny, do you, Mr. Mouse? Would you wait till I catch up with you? You won't take it. It's funny. I'll that's right, gentlemen. Al Catone used you to blacken our good name. He's afraid the citizens of Cheese Cargo might join us against him unless we're portrayed in a bad light. This is important, because what you guys write carries a lot of weight. The people of Cheese Cargo believe what they read in the newspapers, gentlemen, so it's up to you to tell them the truth. Are you saying you're asking us in the press to help you out, Mr. Mouse? I'm asking for everybody's help. Now, if you'll excuse me for a minute, gentlemen. Hey, just a moment, Mr. Mouse. Okay, that'll be it for now, boys. I hope you got everything down all right. Well, Deborah, what do you think? Could it be I'm finally getting some trust out of this city? You'll have to do a lot more than that if you're going to win them over completely. This was true. There was much to be done before Cheese Cargo could return to normality. But the city's residents knew they could depend on four brave agents whose skill and determination could get the job completed.
This time, Al Catone's gone too far, switching his attention to Lake Michigan and the financial benefits of piracy. His henchmen run amok on the once safe trading routes from Canada, and only Elliot Mouse and the Untouchables can stop the plundering of the valuable cheese cargo bound for Cheese Cargo. In this race against time, can Catone be stopped? Will the forces of good triumph over the forces of evil? Find out next time! I read it in the papers, the city's got the blues, she's got the Their town's back for good She's got the Have the misunderstood Or has the whole wide world gone crazy In these catastrophic times And been so low since I was hungry I'm down to my very last eye The world can see C-R-A-Z-Y 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 The whole wide world's gone crazy